Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to answer to your question that you are not able to set up robot axis more than 200 degree. So let's have a look. I have tried to download one model from the grabcat.com. So thank you so much for this model and simple you can drag and drop and specify that is the assembly and you can specify it also if you would like to use the templates or system will apply it for you the relation datum planes and so on but we can use the default configuration so simple confirm ok and now we can open the subassembly which has been created if you would like to transfer this import model to mechanism we have to understand the model tree so specified for example this model is really on the bottom but if you imagine that it has to be really on the top so i will move it on the top because it will be first then we are able to modify these under the models and all these models which are here maybe we can create simple sub assembly so select object in the model tree right mouse button and over here you are able to move the new sub assembly you can specify that it will be new sub assembly you can specify the name so for example 001 and confirm ok and also you can specify that if you would like to use the template or you will use the empty i will use the empty because the system will do not create for me coordinate system and relation and so on so that's okay and now we have a simple structure the base model and the bottom one what we would like to do is that we can check if this component is fixed so we can select the, the definition and we can have a look where it's placed if you are do not understand the specific location you can simple use the fix functionality yeah and the system will leave the components where it is based on the coordinate system or you can use default so it's up to you you can try and then the system will make the default for coordinate system of this component and also coordinate system from the assembly yeah so we, let's have a look we can try the default it works well if not you can use the undo and specify it as the fix to select the component the another model we would like to have the mechanism so i will specify the definition for this object and over here right now you can see that system set also default for this sub assembly because we have created new one as the sub assembly as empty so this is reason that was default we will delete the default constraint and we will create a new one as the mechanism bin what does it mean we are able to move the object yes of course you can use the dragger and move if you don't want to use the dragger you can use the control add and right mouse button or middle button for moving and spinning and axis alignment means specify two cylindrical surfaces or two axes and then transformation will be we will select these two surfaces which will be aligned if you would like to specify offset you can use the distance over here now as you can see we are able to spin the model simple yeah if i will use the control alt and middle button or you can use the dragger and also spin but now the system can spin really turn around and for example 720 degrees so two times or something like this yeah but for this mechanism in reality maybe you need to specify maximum minimum for example 220 degree as was requested from your question below the another tutorial so i will confirm ok only for now so only pin constraints are set and we would like to see if some datum planes are visible if i will see here and for example we would like to see the datum planes no datum planes on this imported geometry so we are able to create our custom datum planes and these datum planes will be useful for orientation yes yeah? so you can reuse the existing surfaces but i like to show you more as always so select object open and the system include default coordinate system and we can simply create a new datum plane from coordinate system and you can use the offset value so with the, some offset diameters and dimension sorry or you can use the true coordinate system yeah and you can specify which plane will be used this middle plane is okay so that's fine and we will go to the another model for example this one yeah 
So we will orient this component. Let's have a look. And if I will open it, we can also create datum plane from coordinate systems, not offset, but through and confirm OK. Location is strange here. Yeah? It's not really in the middle as you need, maybe. So it's fine. I like to really reuse the two datum planes, which will be parallel. So this is the reason that I am able to create it and use it really fast. Now you can see that I have spinned the assembly a little bit and we would like to set maximum minim minimum values. So what does it mean? This is the pin constraint which has been created minutes ago. We can select the definition and I like to use the rotation axis and we will use, you can use the existing surfaces or this is the reason that I have created this data template that I like to use and reuse these data planes. And system will show me actual dimension between planes. If you would like to see zero, please select zero or write zero. If you would like to see the 15 degree, doesn't matter, you can try, or you can try also 20, 220 as requested. That's okay. Yeah, that's our maximum minimum. So maybe I will start re really from the zero and we would like to see where is the positive value. So start from zero and move. And you can see that now it's a positive value. So for example, positive value will be something like 220 and negative value will be something different. You see, minus 87. So based on these dimensions or the information, you are able specified where is your zero, spin your model as needed. For example, over here is the zero. Set zero means now it's a zero from starting. Then you can check plus, minus, okay. And now you can select that if you will regenerate, the system will always jump, for example, minus 35. What does it mean? I will use right now this button and the system will automatically use the regenerated value if I will use the enable regeneration. Yeah, so this is the first configuration what you set. So what does it mean? I will spin the model with dragger and set any value. You can see right now I can spin around because maximum minimum is not defined. But if I will finish and if I will regenerate, so control G or you can use this icon, control G, yeah, the system will jump to 35 degree. And now if we will specify the definition and we will continue with the rotation axis specification, we can set that minimum will be yeah, for example, you see here that y minus 120 or 180, sorry. So what does it mean? But request was that you would like to go, for example, this direction minus big value. Yeah. So you see here that right now it's not possible. Yeah. So minus 180 and nothing more. That's not good. So we will do not use the enable regeneration value. And we can have a look how the system works. That again doesn't work. And why? Because I have specified minimum value minus 180. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if the regeneration value is set or not. Always depend what is written here. So for example, I will wrote minus 220 as the example. You can use the plus minus, doesn't matter. So what does it mean now? The minus will be not 180, but 220. You see, it's jump and finish on 220. Opposite, you have to think about that spinning around is 360 degree. So you are not able to specify 220 into one direction and also 220 into another direction because you would like to, it's much more than 360. So if you have to specify maximum minimum, you are able to count altogether 360 degree. Yeah, you see that system automatically jump from 180 to 140 because altogether it's a 360 degree. So now in reality, in one direction 220 and opposite direction 140. If you would like to do it opposite, switch off. 
yeah then for example specify here uh, minus 135 as the example yeah and over here you can specify 225 for example as the plus now it works opposite minus 135 yeah minus 135 and 225 minimum maximum if you would like to use really plus 220 and minus 220 don't use maximum minimum values but use only definition of the constraints and then use snapshots so now the minimum maximum values are set regeneration value is set if i will use the dragger maximum minimum yeah based on the uh, angles if i will regenerate control g the system will regenerate if i would like to really use the custom angles i will specify the definition i will not use the regeneration value maximum minimum confirm ok and in the dragger and over here i will show you it's the constraints and you are able to set custom value now is minus 35 definite from the default what i have spin it during connection and over here you can specify minus 220 enter then make a snapshot you can rename minus 220 yeah for example as the name change to positive value 220 opposite and make the screenshots and plus 220 so in the snapshot you will have minimum and maximum yeah so the system will go around if you create more snapshots you can make the animation based on the snapshots and how to do it you can check the previous tutorial so in this tutorial you have seen how it is possible to specify minimum maximum for the mechanism constraints and also how to manipulate if the value is greater than altogether 360 degree thanks for your question stay tuned and bye bye vladimir